Okay, so Windows Project Neon has now been released on the Discord. Uh, so this is version 0.2.7. I've had it for a while, but it has officially been released now. Uh, just to show you how I'm set up. So I'm running this from an SD card. Uh, I'm using a USB to Ethernet adapter, and I've got my uh, USB sound card in there as well for sound. And, uh, and it's running really well, it's running nice and fast. Uh, but I wanted to show you today, uh, Amir contacted me, uh, and I'll switch over to screen capture for this bit. Okay, so here it is, WORCP. So if I click on the EXE file, so it's basically, uh, it's, it's meant to be information about the Raspberry Pi, so we can maximize this, and uh, it comes up with your login, if I click on performance, uh, what well you can see here I'm on 1.5 gig at the moment. Uh, it shows how much memory I'm using and the disk. This is really nicely done actually. I, I haven't seen any images or anything. This is the first time I look into this. So overclocking now. Uh, so it looks like you can just, yeah, 2000. Uh, let's go with 750 uh, over voltage of six. GPU memory I'll leave, so apply. Boot partition is missing, mount it now. Mm, I'll say yes. So let's apply all of these, set, set, and set. Yeah, this is very nicely done. Uh, so let's click on about, so it tells me a bit about it. Oh yeah, there you go. Version 0 0.1.0 made by Amir Dahan. Support link, let's see where that takes you. Check your cherished pictures and documents. Oh, this is a, just a reminder, that's a Windows reminder. Oh, so this is takes you to the Discord, which is nice to see. Uh, let's go back to that tool. And so he said the update doesn't work yet, that will be implemented in a later build. Uh, oh, and personalization, look. So it's like red, green, blue. So hit apply. Oh, I see it's done done something to this bar, and I guess some other things. Performance. Yeah, very nice, Amir. I do like that. That is excellent. And <laughs> look at the fan, nice and smooth. TPIO control. About yeah, very very good. Right. So what I was going to do as well. Uh, so this now this is officially on the Discord because a lot of people are asking about it. Uh, I don't know if the Ethernet is supported yet, but you can check out the Discord for that information. As I say, I'm using USB Ethernet, and I'm also using a USB sound card, a 99p sound card. I'll put links in the description to both of those. Uh, so the things I wanted to show were I was messing about with uh, things like Amazon Prime Video. Uh, and Netflix, and I just wanted to see how well they worked. And even though this is running from an SD card, this is it's just a really good build, and uh, it's lovely and fast. It looks great, and uh, and I've, yeah, it's been the best Windows on Raspberry Pi so far by a long shot. And any apps I'm trying out here were from the Windows Store. Uh, so I've been watching Mr. Robot, oh, which is interesting because there is uh, they use Raspberry Pis in it. They hack the system with Raspberry Pis. Hopefully it will be something I can show. So it's pretty low res, but it's working and the sound is fine. I'll just pause that. Uh, so let's go. Let's go and try something else that I installed. So Netflix. Actually, I don't know if my Netflix has expired. Okay, it doesn't seem to want to let me sign in, but I'm sure I had it working before. Anyway, others might uh, might say if they've had Netflix working on this build uh, in the comments. Uh, what else did I have? Amazon Music. So some of these things are slow, but once they're playing, certainly the music especially, uh, tends to play flawlessly. And I do like this temperature monitor that was added. Uh, it's nice to see that. So I'm using my cluster case, but with no active cooling. Uh, it's just got the Ice Tower cooler from 52Pi uh, on the top, and uh, that's keeping everything nice and cool. So let's click on something and see if we can get it to play. Yeah, so the audio is absolutely fine on that. And uh, what was the other thing that I installed? I, I installed this quite some time ago. Yeah, Spotify as well. Let's close down Amazon. Oh no, it closes down on its own. Look. 
I don't know why I've got airplane mode showing up. Uh, I couldn't seem to turn it off before, but I'm not worried about it because the internet is still working fine. So let's log in. And let's just click on something in here. And as you can hear, the audio sounds great on that as well. Uh, so last one I was going to try was TuneIn Radio. Then I must restart and apply this overclock because I'm guessing that's the way it works. TuneIn starts up a lot quicker than Spotify and Amazon Music, which is interesting. Let's maximise that. Music. Let's just go for Virgin. Hit play. I mean, what you're talking about is a team effort where everybody's got to kind of, if someone says no, you've got to accept. There you go, working absolutely fine. So all of that's great. Let's just go back into that WRCP tool and uh, just check what it says about the clock speed. So maximize that. So yeah, so it still says 1.5 gigahertz. If I go into the overclocking, oh, let's restart it first of all and see if it then shows as two gig. So let's launch that tool again. Oh, Spotify starting up. Why is Spotify starting up? Yeah, two gig. So overclocking super easy in this new build. Uh, I'm just on the Discord with, with Amir at the moment and uh, he's just shown me an image of 0 0.2.8 and it looks really nice. Uh, I'll put, I'll overlay it on this screen. I'll transfer it over when I do the edit. Um, and uh, he also said that Ethernet is now supported, and USB is supported, but only on certain devices. Usually slower devices. Um, I've got quite a few uh, cheap SSDs, so I'll give it a try with that uh, when he lets me have 0 0.2.8. But yeah, looking very nice. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.